We move now to a potential breakthrough in male contraception. The pill revolutionized birth control for women. Researchers hope that a gel will do the same for men. Dr. Tara Narula is here with more on all of this, uh, a story that got a lot of people talking today. Yes. Tara, how, how, does, how does this work? So for any product like this to move forward, it's going to have to be safe, effective, and reversible. This product's been in development for about 10 years, and essentially it's a combination of two hormones, testosterone and progestin. And the way that it works is it's going to be applied to the skin of the upper arms and shoulders. You up rub here. it on your shoulder. You rub it in daily. Um, and so in this study, the men are going to apply this every day, and they're going to monitor them for a couple months to make sure that they're sperm production count goes down. And the hope is that the sperm production decreases, but it doesn't affect their libido or have other side effects. After the sperm counts effectively decreased, then for a year, couples will be followed, in this case, 420 couples, to see how effective it is in preventing pregnancy and also how much the couples like it. But this isn't expected to be rolled out Long next year. Away. Yes, about 10 years away. This is a, a first trial. It'll need more, more research down the road. There is no birth control for men right now. Why, why is that? It's a complicated issue, right? So right now, men have condoms, withdrawal, and vasectomies, none of which are ideal, right? Failure problems um, among lack of reversibility with a vasectomy. So one of the issues is that industry has not really put their foot in this game. So a lot of the research has been left to nonprofits and governments. That's one problem. The second is a bio biology issue, which is that it's much harder to suppress the production of hundreds of millions of sperm that are produced every day versus one to two eggs produced every month. But researchers say, are saying, look, it's time for gender equity right now. We need to have more shared responsibility and family planning. It's really interesting to talk about and really, really interesting to hear the results of the study. Tara, thank you. Thank you.